Hey Sun Space Sun, I'm Daisy Victoria and today we're going to do a quick little video. I basically need to replace the elastic waistband of a petticoat and I thought it would be potentially very helpful to some of you guys if I show you what I'm doing. This is the petticoat I am replacing the waistband on and I'm actually just replacing the elastic. The elastic is super duper stretched out. I've had this petticoat for ages. This is like one of those kind of generic costume petticoats that you can buy at any Halloween store. And I have had this for at least 12 years. I'm not really sure. I know I got it the year that my friends and I did a maid cafe at a convention in Florida. So whatever year that was. But over the years, it's really stretched out a lot. So we're gonna actually go ahead and replace this and make it nice and tight because I wanna wear this under a super cute dress I made for New Year's and I want to make sure it doesn't fall down. So taking a look here, basically when we do an alteration, we want to see how the garment was made. So for this particular petticoat, we can see there's probably actually a couple of ways I can go in here. So at the very back side, whatever, it doesn't matter how you wear it, but there's a seam here. So what I can do is I can rip that seam out to get into the elastic. There's another method I can do on this as well. So if I do that, it's not gonna sew back up exactly the same way it is because when they made this, they actually sewed that all together first and then they kind of sewed this together here with the, the uh, layers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rip this apart to get into the elastic so that I can then top stitch these back and make it exactly the same way that it was originally. So I'm grabbing my handy dandy seam ripper here and I don't need to rip very much. I just need to rip enough to get into where the elastic is so I can pull it out. So I'm just ripping like a few stitches there. And then, so this one has the two seams. So I need to rip this seam and then I need to get into this seam also to get at the elastic. So I'm just gonna rip into both seams there. And we'll see what we are dealing with elastic wise. Okay, so <laughs> here's the elastic. It's this really cheap elastic. I'm not at all surprised. So to take it out, I need to find my scissors, hang on. So this elastic is really stretched out. I am not going to reuse it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it wherever. And then I can pull it out of there. Okay, so here is my old elastic that's stretched out. And here's where they had sewn it together in the back there, just on top of itself. So I'm gonna be using this new elastic, it's a one inch elastic, the same as what was in there, but I'm gonna show you guys the difference between these two. So this is a very, very cheap elastic. This one is a little higher quality. It is thicker, and in addition, it has this texture on it, which helps it to kind of stay stable rather than see the way this one wants to fold on top of itself. So this one is much less prone to doing that. I really prefer this type of elastic. I can't use this elastic as a guide because remember it's stretched out too much. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm just gonna put this elastic around my waist where I want it to sit, give it a little bit of stretch, decide where that is, give it a little bit of overlap and cut it off there. So I decided that's right there. And if we compare it to the old elastic, it is much, much shorter. Well, not that much, but a good several inches, which is why the old one was not really fitting anymore. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this through the skirt, and then I'm gonna double check the fit right after that. I am grabbing a safety pin out of my little tin of safety pins here. All right, so to thread this through the elastic waistband of the skirt, I'm gonna just stick the safety pin on there so it's holding on real good. And then I'm gonna take the skirt and find where I made that little hole. And I'm gonna stick this inside there. So here is 
the no elastic waistband area. So I'm sticking that elastic up inside there with that safety pin. And then once I get it started, I'm just using the safety pin to feed the elastic through there like that. And in hindsight, I probably should feed it the other way. So I was trying to feed it across the seam, not advisable. Probably want to feed it across the side where you don't have a seam in the way. And that was that like center back or side or whatever seam. So I'm going to feed it that direction. You can feed it the other way too. It's just a little easier when you're not fighting that seam. So I'm just taking it as you can see here and just using that safety pin to give me something to grip to, to feed the elastic all through there. So this is the elastic going in and this is where I cut in there. So that's the elastic coming up, feeding in through there. And then this just takes a little bit of time here because we got to feed it all the way through. you'll get to the place where you have your opening so you're just gonna go in there and grab that safety pin so you have both sides of the elastic there and what you can do is check to just make sure that it fits correctly before you sew it up so basically I'm gonna overlap the two ends of elastic there and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this safety pin on there so I can try it on and double check the fit. I've got it like all bunched up at one part. That's normal. Just kind of get it fed through there a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to try this on. So I think this is a little on the big side, which is common for me. It's normal that I cut my elastic a little bit big. It's just a habit. Hey, it's better cutting it too big than too small, right? So I can easily fix that by simply pinning the elastic again at a spot where I think it fits a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, so that feels about right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off what I determined was too much elastic. And then basically I'm just going to sew this together. So I know there's a lot of fluff from the petticoat, but you guys can just see I'm Gonna stitch the elastic on top of itself. And if you want it to be extra stable, you can actually do two um, rows of stitches there. Just hold it a little bit better. So basically that is sewn together like that. Make sure you cut off all your little threads and stuff. So then that just gets fed back inside there. So the last part is to stitch down the rest of these seams here. So I'm just going to go back to the sewing machine and stitch to connect where I ripped out the seams to get in there. And I'm gonna make sure I overlap with some of the remaining seam when I do that. Okay. 
clip our threads. And then I like to just make sure I didn't catch the elastic, like I can actually still um, move it around in the waistband there. Now, a lot of waistbands, that'll be it, but this one has that second um, top stitch a little bit lower, so I'm just gonna make sure I redo that. And there we have a new waistband installed in this skirt. This waistband is going to hold up a lot better, I think, because it is a higher quality elastic and it's not gonna do that folding over on itself thing. Plus it's not stretched out. So that's the reason I needed to switch it anyway. Here it is on my mannequin. You can see it's less stretched out, fits great. And that's how you replace the elastic in a waistband. Pretty simple. I am very excited to wear this petticoat under my New Year's outfit, so I will go ahead and insert what that looks like so you guys can see the finished result in all of its glory. And if you got any help, any tips and tricks from this video, I would love to see what you make or what you fix up or what you are inspired to do. You can find me on all the social medias as Daisy Victoria. My website is daisyvictoria.com and a special thank you to my patrons over on Patreon who support me through creating content like this and so much more. I hope you all have an absolutely magical day, much love and light to all of you, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.